Hey, it's Nick and Lane. It's back today. Today, as promised, we have the installation of MacPup 528. Easy peasy is going to be. Now, I know I've done some installations before, but I haven't done one for a while, and there's a lot of new people watching the videos. So, we'll do one for MacPup 528, and I'll show you how easy it is. Right, so where do we start? Well, we start by doing this, really, which is down here. And we left click the desktop, okay? And then we go to applications. And we go down to system. And we go down to gparted. Now we click on gparted. Okay, and it wants to have a little scan, so we say yes. Right, there's my little 8 gig drive I'm going to use for now. Now if you click on it once, then go to device. And then click on create a partition table. And we'll let it do its thing. And it's done. Right. We now right click it. Click on new. And we're going to make our primary partition ext3, but I'm going to shrink that right the way down to around about there. Okay, I'm going to click add. Now next, I'm going to click new. Then I'm going to make that an extended partition. Okay, I'm going to click add again. This is, you don't have to do this, but you can do any sizes or whatever you want. But I'm just giving you, you know, just to have a look. So right click again on the new one and click new. This is going to be a logical partition, and I'm going to make that XT3 again. This is going to be my home folder where I store my photos and my music, etc. etc. So, if I give that a little bit of a shrinkage and leave myself around about that, should do about 670 left over for some swap. Okay, so we click add on there. That's our two main partitions. Right click finally, click new, and we want to make that into Linux swap. Looks all right to me. We'll add that. And now we apply, and of course we want to do that, so we click apply. It does this little bit of stuff. Nearly done, like you can see, don't take long at all really. Installation on a reasonable new machine, well this ain't too new to the machine, but installation will take around about between 5 and 10 minutes, not too long. But if it's an old machine, remember, it will take longer. So that's our disk sorted out, okay? Nicey, nicey. If we left click at the top again, we go to applications again and we go all the way down to setup and we go down to the Puppy Universal Installer. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're installing to an ID drive or an SATA drive here, so we click there, okay? We click OK and we click OK again because that's the disk we're using and it thinks about it for a little while. And we wait a little bit and we wait. Oh, there we go. Now your SDA1, remember that. SDA1 and SDA5, remember that. SDA1 is where we're going to put our main thing, uh, MacPup 528, okay? SDA5 is going to be our home folder where we keep all our stuff. Okie dokie. There is a reason for that, but don't worry about it for now. So we're going to install to SDA1. We just click there. We click OK again. <clears throat> yes, the files are on the CD. By the way, you can read all these when you're doing it, but you don't have to. I'm just quickly going through it with you. All my stuff's on CD, so I click CD. Yes, the CD's already in there, click OK. And in theory, it should ask me one more question now, then we can get going. Ah, there we go. Right, we're going to do a full install. So if we click full, and off it starts, basically. Now, it doesn't actually take too long. So that's not too bad, really. Is it, when you think about it? No, it's not. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to wait until it starts installing for us. <clears throat> doesn't take too long at all. I'm not cutting the video too much. I might cut a little bit out in a minute, just to make sure the waiting bit. Oh! Second bit of the install out of the way. Lovely, we're nearly there. Super duper duper. Super duper duper. Yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Shog, 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 shog. This bit probably will take some of the longest bits. <clears throat> and then the next bit takes a little while as well. And you're just sitting there watching the screen dry, really. It can be a bit boring, but hey, somebody's got to do it. And it looks like it's you. Because you're going to be installing it yourself, aren't you? Bearing in mind, once it's all installed, it'll all run really nice and fast. Faster than it would do from the live CD and from a USB key as well, as far as I'm aware. Unless it's a really old hard drive, by the way. And it won't, will it? Because it'll be quite slow, the old hard drive. But you should be able to run this on most hardware, really. So there's no big deal. And it'll run nice and fast. Nice, clean desktop. Lovely. You can enjoy your computing experience using MacBook 528. Anyway, the Execution RC update script is nearly finished. Nearly, I just see, I keep saying nearly. It never finishes, does it? Look. Ah, right, this is the longest part. <clears throat> now, you may think it's actually finished now, and it isn't, right? Okay. 
you have to wait for the next screen to come up. Now this can be between one minute and five minutes. Don't just shut down and think it's installed because it hasn't. You've not actually installed a bootloader. So you need to do grub. But you have to basically wait until this is finished, doing its stuff, until you can do that. So I'll show you what I mean. If we go down here and click on HTOP, you'll see that my processor's doing lots of work, isn't it? It's doing the worky thing. But that's the reason why, basically. Now, when that stops doing the stuff that it's doing like now, we can just finish our grab installation, and then you can shut down the machine, and off we go and play. Yes, very nice indeed. So I'm going to wait now. I'm going to wait now. And I'm going to wait now. Right, this is the screen we've been waiting for. Okay, yes, we're here in the end. Once this screen comes up, we can get going and finish off our installation. Now, if you want to, you may well want to read these. But because I've done so many installs, I won't bother, okay? The next script is for, if you're using, say, with a, uh, a frugal install, you will need to put this in your own grub file, okay? Oh, yes, needy. So, anyway, we're going to get rid of that, and I'll show you how to do grub. And then we're all done, then, and you can go away and play away, really. So, applications, all the way down to system again. And here we've got the grub bootloader config thingamajig doofer, okay? So, we'll click on there. Right, we're going to do a simple one, but if you want to do a different one, it's entirely up to you. I'm just showing you what you can do, okay? This is just the simply way. So I click OK. I'm going to use a standard buffer. No, dif no difference here, no difference at all. Standard, standard, standard. I'm going to click OK. Now, do you remember where we put it? Do you remember? How to remember? Did you remember? Well, this is what we want to do. We put it in SDA1, didn't we? So what I'm going to do, you type in this. Forward slash DEV forward slash SDA1 and that's where our grub files are going to go and we click OK now we just wait a little while it doesn't take long at all now we're almost finished our installation right almost done we want this to go to the master boot record okay it says possibly unsafe but it's fine trust me on that one okay so highlight MBR and click OK going good going good going good we're nearly there we're nearly there oh yeah it's still now bootloader for us lovely jubbly right that is it now you're all done so all you got to do is shut down the machine okay now when you shut down the machine it will ask you a couple more questions like do you want to save to file and you will say no I do not want to save to file shut down the machine take out the CD boot from the hard disk and you'll be in your brand new installation of MacPup 528 wasn't that simple sneaky Linux out I'll see you later bye bye, bye.